that. And let's see some fancy animations. Get ready for this. Ooh! Whoa, look at that! There How fancy. And then let's actually get into like these people. Okay, it looks like uh, we're, we're having some training stages at the moment. I'm not quite sure where Ludo is. Uh, I, I suppose space. they're having just a, a good old time. Yeah. Um, there are requests for the bracket. I'll bring that up right now. There we go. That's the bracket for today. Right now, we're taking a look at uh, the pools. And later on today, we'll be taking a look at top eight and all that sort of good stuff. So what do you think about these two players? About Ori versus... Sylvanos, who do you think is favoured? Um, well, I'm not very good at game knowledge, but I think Sil would, Sil would be more favoured in this situation because with the long range that Sylv has, uh, Ori can't really get in because Ori is more of a, like, oh, I want to be close to you, I want to hit you right in the face, when yes. Sylv is more of a, hey, can you please stay back a bit? I don't really want to talk to you. That's that's basically Sylv. Yeah, that's also true. Uh, I, I think though that Ori, if there's platforms on the stage, Sylph has a harder time trying to defend kind of diagonally, you know? Yeah, so true. if Ori can get onto those platforms and try and approach in a more diagonal fashion, mm -hmm. that can prove pretty pretty deadly for the good old doggo here, yeah. as we do see repped by the dog tag. Yeah. So I guess we're just going to wait for them to start at this point. <laughs> We've got confirmation. Well, we don't have confirmation from the pool captain. Is what I'm trying to say. He just kind of shrugged at us, uh, but that's that's fine. Um, like we're we're ready. Okay, it looks like the players yeah. are ready to go. They just want to get like permission to to start going. Uh, looks like they're in 20 mode. So you know that's all good. That's yeah. what we like to see. Um, just for your information. Yeah. We can see like the full stream over here, so yeah. uh, we can like see the the full game rather than having to like watch it over here because that's yeah, like yeah. really tiny. That comes like kind of cramped and, and hard to commentate really. Yeah, true. Oh, we do have the rock paper scissors going on right now. Oh, uh, yeah. got a lot of ties, and we do see Ludo with a sick rock win. Yeah, was okay. Okay, here we go. So, with Ludo winning this, I wonder what sort of stages he'd uh, he'd like to be in. I'd say he probably want to go for depending on what he wants to do. He might want to go for smaller stages, try yeah. and take up more more of the stage, be more oppressive like that. Yeah. Maybe or... maybe Render's going to want some of those um, stages with uh, smaller plats. I guess we'll see what they what they end up doing. We have confirmation from the TO to get off the friendly setups. Ooh, imp exciting, important. Okay. And we are going to in-game. Let me just get the animations out of the way. And we do have a very commanding start from Rendered over here. Getting the uh, classic up air uh, combos that you see from but Ori. A little bit you striking back with his own combos with himself. Oh, yes. And we can see from right here, Rendered Spies are uh, getting quite... Uh, a lot of oppression on yeah. uh, Ludo at the moment. This being a wider stage, I think this is going to allow Render to kind of use a bit of space to move around and not have yeah. to try and, um, like, you know, uh, get every opportunity that he that he can just to move around. It kind of allows him to chill back a little bit further yeah. and kind of think about his approaches. Yeah, I guess that is. Yeah, so... First thing Ludo myself, as you can see, like that bear right there, yeah. it is a force to be reckoned with. Yeah, it is. It, it's, it's very scary to verse because what he'll do is he'll kind of go on like a plat and then he'll go for bears and he'll just kind of wave land around the plat just to try and bait you in. And if you do come in, there's a very high chance he'll hit you with that bear and, and send you flying off. Yeah, very yeah. close right now in, uh, in terms of percentage. I've many, too many times dying from that. Oh, dude, yeah, tell me about it. Oh, nice Ooh, bash. Yeah. Doesn't quite manage to get the Ooh. kill, unfortunately. But loot, uh, but Rendered does have stage control again. Yeah. Oh, scramble situation. Yeah. A loot 
just trying to get away from Reddit to percent Nice parry by uh, um. See, this situation right here where Ludo comes back to the stage to try and recover, yeah. I find that um, interesting because he will try and go for some mix-ups. Like, if there's no grass on the stage, you know, he might decide to go uh, very close to the edge. He might decide to come further into the stage. If there's grass, he might decide to do either of those options, but he also might decide whether or not to actually attack. And so if you predict that he's going to try and attack, he can always go to where he's going to spawn and parry. Yeah. But then you're left looking like a fool yeah. if he doesn't attack and you're just left there uh, with your parry lag. And this is uh, not the greatest, unfortunately, for rendered at the moment, with Ludo already being at 200%. He really needs to get the stock because he's already at 118%. Yeah. Oh! Nice. Oh! Back. Yeah. Ooh. Very tense right nice. now. Oh, oh! Nice follow up with the down smash. Yeah. You will see rendered spy. Um, no, I just need to fix up the stream again. Okay, that, that was nice. This is a uh, best. Is this best of three? Alright. Thank you, pool captain. Yeah. So. One thing that you'll see from Rendered is if you hit him kind of like fast towards the ground, he likes to try and roll um, either out or in. Generally, he likes to roll out, so what Ludo did was follow up with that roll out, and so that's a very uh, common thing. Yeah. Speaking of common things, uh, what Rendered did there but wasn't quite able to get is something kind of really funky where you uh, hit Dare when the opponent is off stage and try to follow up with an immediate grab. Oh. So down air, hits them, then you go for a grab. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like Rendered's uh, quite got the timing for that, but it's possible with a little Ooh. bit more, more practice, a little bit more getting into, uh, into the vibes that he'll be able to start pulling those off. To get those, oh, to get oh, that's the bears that yeah. I was talking about. Yeah. Just like that, yeah, those we bears. do see Rendered Spy losing in the first game. Alright, here we go. That, uh, wrong put. What? Wait. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was like, it was Good point. Yeah. You know, in my head, I was thinking, you know, because I just said yeah. Rendered Spy lo uh, lost, so I was thinking, like, we'll put it against there. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Yeah. This is why we have co-commentators, so that they can, uh, you know, uh, fix us up. All right. Going on to nice. game two here. You know, a bit of a smaller stage. This is going to be Rendered's counter pick. Why do you think he went to Rockwall? Um, mostly because it's the actual platforms... Uh, help self more than, than um, say, Ori, because the actual platforms are just directly up, so you, so you can actually recover in uh, many different ways, and I think the grass is a, a lot more helpful. Yep. Yeah. Ooh, do you see nice use of uh, side B there from Rendered? It's kind of interesting to see how all the different Ori's in Australia have been trying to kind of develop the... Um, their own techniques for side B yeah. to try and make good use of it. Because I think at first it's not immediately obvious when you should use it because it's kind of like a, a very laggy move. It's not like yeah. Zetaburn's Fireball where you just hit it and then you can just move afterwards. You have to commit. You know, you have to stay in place to fire it, especially if you want to fire it at a distance. Oh, nice Ooh. stuff from Ludo over here. Oh, Harry by Rendered. Okay. Uh, nice go, nice go. Yep, looks like the stocks are evening up again. Oh, oh no, no. Right this is the snack. classic. Oh my god, how did he hit that bear? Damn. Ludo's bear is scary, yeah. I am telling you. He just comes out of nowhere. And it's kind of different from um, Xenix, yeah. who's another, you know, high level uh, Sylvanos in, yeah. in Australia. He doesn't bear as much as as Ludo, so, yeah. so every time I verse him, it confuses me, because I'm like, I, I don't expect it. Yeah, see, where it's, uh, where Ludo likes to use bear, um, Xenix likes to go for the really kind of um, bread and butter sort of stuff, yeah. where he'll go for, uh, go for like side B into uh, up smash and punish your DI like that. Ludo trying to do another cheeky uh, up, up smash wave. Ooh. Ooh. See, this is the problem with di in that move. Ludo can just get a cheeky up smash. Oh my oh god, how no. many up smashes does he want to do? Calm oh down. Oh my god. Oh, Ooh. he's so close. Yeah. It's okay. No, don't do it. Oh. Don't do it to the boy. Don't do it to him. Oh, it's so close right now. Yeah. It's not looking too good for Rendered. Yeah. 
He's gonna have to do a lot of damage really quick. Yeah. All goes for the, the attack. This is so close right now. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, Run nice, in. nice. Run. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my oh, god. On. Okay, nice. Oh, yeah! Oh! oh my god, he, yeah. he just won that. Wow. Yeah. Okay, good stuff to render. Yeah. Now we can actually apply a win to here. Yeah. Oh man. God damn. Yes. We do see Render just kind of like yeah. in shock right now that he was able to win that. It's like, damn. Yeah. He had to come back. But it's okay. Ludo is still in this. Cannot underestimate men yeah. and his bear. It seems like we do have yeah. a bit of shaking in the uh, the webcam upstairs. I'm not sure if that's like them um, pressing the controls or whatever on the desk. We do see a couple of the bands there. Okay, yeah. we are going into game three. This is going to decide the set. Yeah. Now, luckily, whoever loses this. You know, isn't out yeah. completely, but they are going to have a harder time in the bracket. Yeah, 100%. Because they'll be dealing with it. Because you have to play more games if you get into loser bracket. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So you never want to get to loser bracket. Really oh, my oh, oh my god! Oh. This is disgusting. This. Like, see, when I first yeah. uh, Ludo, it's like, am I more scared of his Sylvanos? Oh, it's, uh, yeah, Sylvanos. Or am I more scared of his bear? I, I don't know. Yeah. It's, it's so scary. Because he just does something like that, and it's like, oh, okay, well, I'll just kind of, like, die in so that I don't die. And then he just hits you with that cheeky bear out of nowhere. Yeah. Looks like he's getting a lot of extensions from this uh, up smash as well. You just... Yeah, it's, it's, it's a trouble. I, I just get scared every time I... It's like... Because I'm just like, what am I going to die? Because I know I will die against him, but I don't know when. When it's going to become, I don't know if I will be able to take a stock or he'll just end me. It's Oh my oh. god, there again. Don't do it to the boy. Don't do it to him. He's only just a lad. The problem with uh, Rendon at the moment is he likes, he, he's trying to DI in a lot of these moves. Yeah. And I mean, you know, it, it's kind of, it, it makes sense, right? He's at a high percent, but Ludo is just capitalizing on that. And it's kind of like a lose-lose situation. If you DI out, yeah. Ludo's got a lot of options to deal with you off stage. If you DI in, he's got a lot of options to deal with your DI in. Yeah. This it's is how big uh, up smash is. Oh my god. Yeah, Sylv gets advantage in just when you're DIing in. So you just, you rarely want to DI in against a Sylv. It's, it's scary because like, I have a tough times doing the Sylvs because I'm like, I just want to DI in at this point in time. Yeah. Oh, nice. Nice one by Render. Yeah, Render's got a lot to make up if he, yeah. if he still wants to win this. It's doable. I, oh. I am I oh. am not sure what happened. What? Uh, was that like a controller issue? Uh, it is a controller yeah. issue. Okay, uh, I think we're going to need the pool captain to resolve yeah. this one. Um, yeah, so I'm not sure whether or not to count that as, as a win or if it's going to like... Well, yeah. like, hmm, he was on low stocks, so... Yeah, well, it, it was like, um... Oh, I think they're going back into it? Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, just so they're, they're just gonna, If I can speak, they're yeah. just gonna go back to um, their, their stock count, yeah. Okay. Go from here. Yeah. It seems like, for whatever reason, the, the controller desync. Anyway, we're back into game three. Let's uh, see if Rendon can try and, and climb back. A lot of the momentum that Ludo had right there is also yeah, kind of just disappeared. But even then, Render does have a long way to climb in order to try and come back. It's not going to be an easy time. There's that DI in again, which is very scary. Uh, I think at this sort of percent as well, you can afford to try and DI out a, a little bit more. But it's going to be up to uh, Render to try and figure that out and, and and learn. Yeah, it seems like Render's just having a really hard time on getting in on Ludo. Oh, Ludo's no. just doing a great job of controlling yeah. center stage. Getting plenty of grass all around. Okay. Oh, nice, nice. Okay, oh, no. he got that. Oh, I, uh, I thought he was going to try and tech on yeah. that platform. Yeah. This is scary. 
scary. Oh. Oh no. That no, right no, there. Oh my oh. god. Oh. That's a Xenix thing yeah. right there. I suppose yeah. Ludo did it at first, but that's what Xenix does just over and over and over again. Yeah, yeah. And you have to be very disciplined with your DI to avoid it. Yeah. You have to. You have to. It's so confusing sometimes against, against Sil. Okay, alright, alright. Oh, oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Friend and just takes this. He just has to make sure he doesn't get hit. Oh, oh that's unfortunate that it wasn't charged. Yeah. It might have killed. Yeah, okay, there we go. Speaking okay. of charge F smashes, this is last stock yeah. for both players. Render just cannot afford to get hit here. Yeah. He's dead for basically any hit. Oh. Oh, oh, there's a hit. I gotta say, both players must be feeling nervous at this yeah. point. I know we are feeling nervous here as well. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh my god, oh. Ludo sticking iron in as well. That's not great. You do not want to be doing that no. against uh, Ori's up here. Because Ori oh. will just cover oh. you. It's so getting, tense right now. Yeah, I'm, get, I'm getting goosebumps. <laughs> oh, oh. oh my god, oh my god. Oh. Dude, I just think that Rendon could like bring yeah. this kind of back. Oh, this is not a good situation. No! But he gets it with a fair. Oh. Galaxy fair. But I yeah. suppose that, that's what happens when yeah. you know you uh when you when you uh are oh, at that high of a percent. Yeah. Good stuff to Ludo though, but good stuff yeah, to yeah. Rendon as well for you know not just kind of giving up. Yeah. You know for taking it as far as he could. Mm. Yeah. Oh Whoa. man, what a what a set.